Welcome to this video on how to choose a sampler in stable diffusion. Uh, there are 22 samplers available. So yeah, the question is which one to choose. Um, luckily, they all render quite decent images and the differences are not even that big. So you can just pick one and surprise yourself. However, there also is a more analytical way of going about and that's what I like to show in this video. And mainly your workflow probably will have two steps where step one is to quickly find an image that we like and then we can in step two improve that image using higher step counts and so forth. So step one, quickly find a nice image. You need a low step count and a sampler that acts quick. Um, and then when you select one, let's say we like this image and then we can of course pick the seed and then it is locked over there. And then we can work on this image and improve the quality by using a higher number of steps and selecting an appropriate uh, sampler. And that is step two. And this is the end result. And I can already give away the conclusion of this video. My personal preference in 80% of the time would be to use good old Euler. It renders this image. Or maybe go to DPM++ to MKeras. That renders this image. Almost similar, just minor differences. All the other samplers do a fine job also, but they may also surprise you more. So use them for some variety. Okay, let's have a look how I derived to this conclusion. That's uh, quite analytical. First I created a spreadsheet and listed all the 22 samplers in the sequence that they are listed in stable diffusion. And then I tried them all, created images and well one of the uh, things I did is these uh, XI that will be a future video how to do that. And what I found out and all of you already also found out that some samplers, like for instance Euler, they converge to an image that does not change with an increasing number of steps. Already after 9 or 12 steps you have an image and that image stays roughly the same. This is what we call convergence. This is a converging sampler. There is another uh, category of samplers, that the ones with the A in the name, ancestral, and they keep changing the image with increasing number of steps. The image does not change really dramatically, but the girl, yeah, in every number of steps, the girl is a little bit different, or the background is a little bit different, or both. So this never seems to make up its mind, and that is because the ancestral samplers, they keep adding a little bit of noise in between every step. So the image stays, uh, never stays exactly the same. And more or less a similar thing happens with the SDE, the Stochastic Differential Equation samplers. There are a couple of them. They also keep changing the image, although uh, at a very high step number the image may uh, stabilize some, but you never know exactly what comes out of that. That can be a plus, you can surprise yourself, but in that first step where we want to use a small amount of steps, say 9 or 12, um, and generate a lot of images, uh, yeah, I like to have a converging sampler because then I know when I want to improve on this image further with more steps or whatever, then the image does not change anymore. So I wrote down in the next column the convergence. Does the image converge? That is a one. Uh, do, does it converge but maybe give me another image? That is two, three, four, five. Or does it not converge? Those are the 99s. And then I sorted uh, that uh, column. So I now end up with 11 
Samplers that do converge, uh, although the ones with the little triangle in, they give a slightly different image, but it still has a good convergence. Why is that important? Well, the next step is to have a look at the speed I want in my first phase, a high speed uh, sampler. Uh, so this is the speed column um, sorted out and now I end up with a, a smaller selection of samplers that have a high speed. A one means high speed, a two means that takes twice as long time. But speed in itself is not uh, yeah, quite important, it is the number of steps that I need uh, to get a decent image. Well, luckily with all these converging samplers, but one, uh, you need only 12 steps, maybe you can get away with 9. So if I multiply the speed 1 with the minimum number of steps needed, I end up with this column sorted for speed. And that means that these are the samplers to choose in that first step to quickly generate as much images as you like to select a good one. Alright, so we generate a lot of images, then we select a nice one that we like and we like to improve on it. So now comes the uh, yeah, interesting work. What sampler can we pick to get high quality and how many steps do we need? Well, to analyze that I simply generated a lot of images with all the converging samplers and using different numbers of steps and analyzed those images. And I, I, I used this castle and I used this secretary and I also used an anime image and another castle in the, in the sunlight and then uh, an interior. All these images and what I did is find at what number of steps the image is already there and with higher steps it does not change as much anymore. That is the convergence steps um, and if I sort that column uh, then we find out that a couple of the samplers only need 16 steps and after that the image does not change or improve in quality uh, anymore. So is, is there any use to, uh, to have uh, 80 or 140 steps? Well, in my personal opinion there is not. Almost all the samplers uh, have reached their more or less final image after 32 steps. You can of course still go higher, go to 48 or 50, 60, 70 and see if you will really get some more detail. But in many cases that is only minor, very minor detail. So 30 steps is okay. And 16 is even okay for some. Okay, then uh, multiply that again with the speed of the sampler. That leads to this uh, sorted column. Uh, these five are the fastest. So yeah, why wait a long time if you can do it in 20, 24 steps, then it is okay. But now comes the final point. I had a very close look at the images and which of those do have the best quality? Yeah, what is quality? That is a personal opinion. I uh, had a look for amount of detail and crispness or softness or yeah, for portraits you may like this and for busy uh, anime you may like that. It is a personal opinion. These uh, green ones were my personal favorites. And that led me to the final conclusion, which is that for me, a personal preference maybe, the uh, DPM++ 2M Keras is a sampler that gives um, most of the time crisp and detailed and, and sharp images. And for portraits I tend to like Euler, uh, it is a little bit softer, uh, but still uh, yeah, very nice to look at. All the other ones, they, they are good too, but <laughs> these are my personal preference based on speed in the beginning and quality in the end. 
Okay, let's put this to the test. I have created a prompt. I put my step count on nine and a low number to, to get high speed and batch count on eight. And Euler is one of the fast samplers. So, and it converges very well. So let's just turn generate eight pictures and quickly see what we get out. And if in these eight there's nobody I like to work on, then we create eight again and eight again and eight again and so on. Well, uh, in this case, maybe this girl looks nice in my eyes. I want to create a highly detailed image. So what I do now is click over here to get the uh, seed of this image. My batch count goes to one and my sampling goes to 32 that is on my uh, computer still quick enough and we generate this image and then see if the quality has improved well uh, it, it, is, it looks good to me so i like to do a high res image right now and then upscale it and then in the extras upscale it again that is my standard upscale workflow and then the results are like this. This is the image with Euler and well, it looks highly detailed and just a little softness on it. And this is the other preferred sampler of mine, uh, DPM++ 2M Karas and a little bit more contrast and maybe some sharper details. Sometimes you like that, sometimes you don't. And well, just for fun, two other samplers, an ancestral one, Euler A, it renders a beautiful picture, maybe even better than Euler itself. It's another girl. And that is because this was not a converging sampler. It keeps changing the image with increased amount of steps. So if you change the steps, you get another image another girl in this case. And then uh, an SDE sampler, uh, DPM colors SDE, uh, the stochastic that also generates another girl. Not bad, uh, just it's my preference that I know when I have an image generated with nine or 12 steps that if I increase the steps to increase the quality, the image does not change that much anymore. Well, this was it, uh, quite an analytical story, how to reach a choice for your samplers. Uh, out of 22, I managed to get a short list of just two, and then I use sometimes one of the others to surprise me. Maybe see you back in the next video, and in the meantime, have fun.